Hey everybody, it's me Jill and welcome to Jill Informed. Welcome to the first recap of Survivor. This is season 35, episode one of Survivor. Heroes versus healers versus hustlers. Or is it healers versus heroes versus hustlers? I don't know, but it doesn't matter because I am never going to say that again. Too many words, CBS. Too many words. I will call it H3 or he, he, who or something. So this is episode one and it is called I'm Not Crazy, I'm Confident and a little crazy, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I do need to alert you that there will be spoilers in this episode. So if you have not seen episode one yet, please go watch that and come right back here because I will be discussing contest results and eviction results. Okay, let's get started. Episode one is pretty formulaic in that we're starting on the boat with everyone. There's 18 people, three tribes of six. We have the obligatory, you've got like uh, 30 seconds to grab as much as you can, jump off the boat, get in a boat and get to shore. The deal this time is that not only are you racing to get as many supplies and food items as possible, but then you want to get in your boat and get going as quick as possible because the first one to get to shore and light a fire wins fire making supplies and stuff like that. The second team wins flint and the last team gets nothing. I am going to go through the tribes and their occupations really quick. Don't worry about it. There's no test on this. I don't ever remember who's who until we're down to it, like 10 people. So let's just go through it quickly. Okay, so the six members of the heroes are JP, who's a firefighter, Ashley, who is a lifeguard. Ashley kind of likes JP, I think. Those two are a little bit of possible showmance. Alan is the NFL player. Chrissy is a financial analyst. Ben is the marine slash cowboy. Well, he wears a cowboy hat. I don't think he is a cowboy, is he? Does he live on a ranch? I don't know. And Katrina, who is an ex-Olympian. Okay, so Chrissy and Katrina are a little bit older than the other four, and, and so they call them the moms. And then the other four are about the same age, and they've formed kind of an alliance but we'll get to that later. Okay, on the healers tribe, we have Rourke, who is a social worker, Jessica, who is a nurse practitioner, Joe, who is a probation officer, Desi is a physical therapist, Mike is a urologist, and Cole is a wilderness field instructor. Okay, so the main thing with this team is, Joe, I already can't stand him. He's the probation officer, he's a bully, and he needs a belt. Mike, the urologist, is kind of a nerd, and we don't see too, too much of the rest of that team. Okay, so then on the Hustlers, we have Lauren, who is a fisherman, Allie, who is a celebrity assistant, Patrick is a mover, Ryan is a bellhop, Devin is a surf instructor. Since when is, like, a surfer considered a hustler? I, the, okay. And Simone is a program associate. Patrick from this tribe is the redheaded crazy guy who almost ate the walking stick bug. He's going to be a problem. I can tell you right now, he's coming on a little too strong. He's pretty obnoxious. And I think that's going to wear thin. It has already worn thin with me. So while they're still on the main boat and grabbing all the supplies they can, Ryan from the Hustlers team discovers the secret advantage wrapped up. So he grabs that. When he opens it, he discovers that it's a super idol. This is an idol that can be played after the votes have been read, which is awesome. Yeah, there's just one small thing. It can only be used in the very first tribal council. So if his team doesn't go to tribal council, he has to give it to somebody else. Okay, so now it's time. They all have to jump off the boat and get in their little individual boats and row to shore and try to light that torch. And you know how Jeff's commentary is during a challenge. Let me just say Jeff's comments were brutal. 
So the three teams are rowing to shore and it quickly becomes clear that the hustlers are struggling. Jeff comes out swinging with both fists this season. Let me tell ya. Jeff says, ah, the hustlers are heading to another beach. Then it's kind of neck and neck for the healers and the heroes getting to the beach. And so Jeff's calling it, you know, well, the healers are getting to the beach first with the heroes close behind and the hustlers are literally lost at sea. Okay, not literally, Jeff. So now it's this race between those two to untie a torch, to lift somebody up high enough to uh, light the giant torch. And it's between the healers and the heroes and they're kind of neck and neck. And Jeff's, you know, of course, giving us a blow by blow. So the healers come in first, the heroes then like theirs, and that's the heroes in second place. And the hustlers are still trying to figure out what show they're on. Ouch, Jeff, ease up, dude. That's a little harsh for day one. Make no mistake about it. I mean, Jeff Probst is kind of a dick, but this just seemed particularly nasty. Speaking of nasty, we have a little scene with the healer's tribe where it's Mike, the urologist, who is kind of trying to look for an idol. So he kind of goes off on his own to look for an idol because he says his 10-year-old son told him, if you don't look for the idol, you'd be crazy or know, something like that. So he's kind of looking around. And then this Joe, the probation officer, first of all, why are you a healer exactly? I mean, granted, it's just a first impression but he does not give me like a nurturing vibe. So he's telling a couple of the other people on his tribe that he thinks Mike's looking for the idol and that when he gets back, he's gonna call him out on it or something like that. So sure enough, he does. Mike comes back and he's like, uh, I think you have an idol. And Mike says, no, I wish I did. And I, yeah, he does wish he did because he went looking for one and he didn't find it. I didn't quite understand Joe's motivation for this. I think he's just kind of like trying to say to him, uh, you know, got, got my eyes on you, I'm watching you. Maybe to put a little fear of God in him, I don't know. But he's, he said to him, you know, well, at least I respect you enough that I came to you with it. And yeah, um, after you went to two other people with it but whatever you know so I just like you know I want you to know I respect you enough to come to you with it and I hope you respect me and Mike goes yeah oh yeah yeah which of course to the confession cam Mike's like this guy's a big bully he's trying to intimidate me I don't like him all that kind of thing and all I could think of was it's a little hard to respect you, buddy. You are like a 30 something year old man with your pants down like that. And all we can see are your red underpants that by the way, are too small. They're too tight around your waist. It's giving you a muffin top, Joe. I do not think that's the look you're going for. Back on the Hustlers Tribe, Ryan confides in Devin that he found that super idol and that it has to be used at the first tribal council. And Devin's cute. Just putting that out there. Devin's really cute. And again, he's the surf instructor. And I don't know that that requires a lot of hustle. I'm questioning a few of these tribal assignments. Okay, then we go to the heroes. And Alan is tripping. Alan, buddy, what's your strategy here? Because it's not a good look. Okay, so he's in this four-man alliance with JP and Ashley and Ben. And they're the four younger ones. I don't know how old they are exactly, but they're all kind of around the same age. The other two from their tribe are the older women. Okay, so these four decide, yeah, they're gonna be like kind of a core four and if their tribe has to go to tribal council, they're gonna vote off one of the older women that can't do as much during challenges, perhaps. So he accuses JP of having an idol. And JP says, no, I don't. I think this is at night. And the others are kind of sleeping. And he says to him, how far are you willing to go to prove that? So JP doesn't really say anything. He's just kind of like, I don't, and then Ashley overhears. So she comes over 
And she says, what are you guys talking about? And Alan says, oh, I think JP's got the idol. And JP said, you're tripping. And Ashley goes, yeah, you're tripping. You're like tripping, tripping. And Alan goes, I know you guys think I'm tripping. Oh, God. I wish I was tripping, because then I wouldn't remember every minute of this scene. So Alan says, uh, I suppose I'm tripping about that, uh, what you got in your pocket right there? <laughs> JP goes, what? I, there's no, I have nothing in my pocket. And he's like, uh, let's go for a swim. JP goes, I swear on my mother's grave, I don't, and Alan goes, I don't need you to do that. Uh, let's just, let's go to the water's edge. What? What are you suggesting? That's what I would be saying. It's dark. You want to know how far I'm going to go to prove I don't have an idol? And you want to go for a swim or just go to the water's edge? What are you suggesting, Alan? Because you're scaring me. Okay, then we go to the immunity challenge and Jeff announces that tie votes are back in. And I don't know what that means. I meant to look it up. If you guys know what that means, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Anyway, the challenge happens. The healers win. The hustlers come in second. And it is the heroes that end up having to go to tribal council. Ah, but not before Chrissy, one of the moms from the hero tribe, needs to very slowly vomit. Okay, the, the challenge is over. And, you know, you just see Chrissy kind of down on all fours and you know something's wrong and Jeff says, Chrissy, are you okay? And then this very slow, and Jeff's like, there you go, gotta let it out. <laughs> yeah, it was probably gonna come out without your permission, Jeff, but thank you. Then Jeff's like, are you okay? Do you need a medic or do you just want your tribe? I would look at him like, are you kidding? That, like, that, those are my two choices? Yes, Jeff. I want five people I just met yesterday to hold my hair and rub my back. I, no. How about this? How about you turn the camera that way and you give me five minutes alone to just kind of pull myself together? Could that be one of my choices? Yes. I want the warm embrace of people I've known for one day while I'm puking my guts out. So Ryan, whose tribe is not going to tribal council, now needs to find someone from the heroes to give his super idol to. And it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to figure out that Chrissy may be the weakest link. <laughs> So that's exactly what he does. And it is given to her anonymously. So we go back to the hero tribe because they're the ones who are kind of trying to figure out what they're going to do and how they're going to vote that night. And Alan, I don't know if you are a genius or an idiot because I can't figure out what your game plan is. I don't know if you really are suspicious of Ashley and JP or if you just said that but why i i don't know but now alan is talking to katrina the other mom and says to her i no one's talking game to me so i feel like it's going to be me and she said oh no one's talking the game to me either i think it's going to be me so he calls chrissy over and they decide that if they get ben the four of them could be a foursome to vote out ashley well, I don't think they ever really had any intentions of teaming up with the moms, but maybe they just wanted to keep their options open. Anyway, we go to tribal council. Chrissy finds out that she has this idol that she can use after the votes are read. And I'm thinking, oh, Ryan gave it to the perfect person because she will either say, have to save herself or she'll save the other mom, Katrina. We get to tribal council and Alan again calls out his own alliance by saying, well, they're all talking about voting for Katrina or Chrissy, which is very weird to me because didn't you just tell those two that nobody's talking game to you at all? Now suddenly everybody's talking game to you? 
Mm, okay, Alan. So they go to vote. The votes are read, and it's all for Katrina, except Katrina's vote, which was for Ashley. Chrissy doesn't make a move. And I kept thinking, Chrissy, get up. You can't save it. It has to be used in the first tribal council. So get up, get up. What are you waiting for? No. Bye. Bye, Katrina. I was shocked. Then I started thinking about it. Could Chrissy be an evil genius? I was pretty sure that was a really bad move because you always want to keep somebody who is a bigger target than you in the game. And by getting the other, you know, older woman out, that leaves you and the other four. And aren't you just the next to go without any allies? I mean, Katrina was certainly an ally of yours. However, she may be trying to change things around. I don't know. I guess it remains to be seen. But Katrina, the ex-Olympian, is the first to leave the game. I guess we're just left to forever wonder why she was in the Olympics. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, come on back and join me. I will be recapping every episode of Survivor this season. If you have not yet already subscribed, please do so. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or please leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to say about this episode. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Till next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.